Oh, one of me. Tonight, I will be reviewing Beauty and the Beast. I've been in a Anyway, I'm not uh, I love Disney anyway, but I'm staying in my ex expectations really good from the color of the movie, from the texture. From the singing to the main story, loved it. And I'm sorry to say this, but this video will be spoiler heavy, so I am not issuing a, a spoiler alert. So, to start with, Belle coming out of her cottage. Yes, and sing her yeah. song. Bravo, Emma. I commend you. Uh, because it's not an easy um, song to sing. So, they did this white hat, this white camera pan all through the village and the townspeople were fantastic um, I love the song Bell is this I didn't really like the narrow minded villages though um, and one guy really annoyed me the um shopkeeper of the book bookstore. Very arrogant. <laughs> yeah. So um but moving on. Yeah. Like I said they had a uh, wide pan oh sorry. No, they had a steady cam shot all through the village so you could see everything and everyone singing and nobody paying the slightest attention to bell they were just commenting um, and she went past so um yeah that was bell and the f funniest bit <laughs> Were between Gaston and Lefou to begin with, um, um, especially when they came into the village and um, Luke's line was, um, see Dal down there, look at her Lefou, see Bell down there, she's the most gorgeous person I've even me and he's like, well, she's so odd. What about us? And I just laughed. <laughs> and then he's like, don't, I am the best, I know, I deserve the best. And he's like, well, she's so odd. What about us? <laughs> and um, then he started singing on his horse and I my ha heart melted I was like oh can I get to see him in his suit and hear his voice <laughs> hear both their voices actually and um yeah and the costuming oh my gosh the costumes were fantastic and then um yeah 
is um Gaston was trying to catch at the bell and noticed that poor Luke was probably um he was literally running saying Bonjour, let me through, let me through and um and it was so funny, it was just hilarious. And then he was like, um, Hi, Belle, and he was like, Guest on. <laughs> what a great book you had then. He was like, Have you read it? And he was like, No, I haven't. And um, then he was trying to, um, trying to, um, walk with her through the town, saying how great it would be to marry him, and blah, 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 um, and then came the worst proposal, <laughs> he, he, uh, they were walking up to Belle's house and he um stepped in a garden full of cabbages and <laughs> flicking the cabbages and <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. Um but before then the mirror thing came up and I honestly thought he was talking to Belle even though it's in the trailer and things. But the food, um, after Gaston was gone, um, he's like, me neither. So, um, <laughs> and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Stuff, and, um, and during the bell, um, song, he, um, <laughs> like, um, Luke's horse, Obviously got the direction to like rear, rear up and put mud all over the place and those poor actresses who um who played guest on the admirers and I think he actually chucked mud at them. I felt so bad for them. But it was still funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then, um, as I say, he called up to Belle, blah, blah, blah. And as they were going to her house, um, he was like, imagine how wonderful our children would be if you married me. Do you want to be like all the spinsters on the street? You know what happened to people's Fathers when they you know what happens to the daughters when their fathers die and they end up like spinsters on the street and I was like, Oh um and then he was like Our kids I mean your kids <laughs> and I was like uh and um, as he said this, he stepped through the garden of cabbages and flattened them. Um, anyway, um, and um, then came Bower of Praise, and it was just great in that. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you without spoiling it? Oh, um, even though I issued a spoiler alert, I don't want to spoil it for everybody. So I'm just going to pick out my favourite scenes. Um, Belle would be one of them. Um, Gaston's Tavern with the Gaston song. And then, um, just library and seeing Dan read and you should see how witty the beast is. I couldn't stop laughing. It was like 
Okay, I've known this character for so many years and then Dan just brought a whole other character um whole other yeah, a whole other dimension to the beast and um it was kind of waffling off um book titles and saying how boring they are and then he got interested because of Dal sitting right next to him and they start reading um yeah um in sorry I'm gonna backtrack here in the guest um thing <laughs> Josh was particularly feeling funny and also creepy I was like oh okay I can see why but I don't hear sort of thing I really think it was funny and them hopping um dancing along with each other was cute um <laughs> must have taken a whole lot of work Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Fuck. Um, yeah, um, to speed this up, um, yeah, so, and the boring scene was gorgeous. Dan looked absolutely stunning. Thank you to the, um, dress designer and costume people, you bravo you did your job. Um but my favourite part of no, my least favourite part was when Beast dies and he said, This is my turn to say goodbye and Belle was like, No, you can't say goodbye, I love you and then he's like oh. and Gaston was quite bloodthirsty and he shot the beast twice and let me tell you I'm sure Dan, Dan, Dan was hanging up there by a wire or something but you can't see that he was hanging Hanging on to one of the turrets. So, oh, I, I thought this the whole thing in that just. <gasps> and then, guess I'm trying to try to, as I said. So, um, yeah, but I was like, I don't want to say goodbye, no, no. And then he died. <laughs> died and Emma just broke my heart um might be because I'm going for a breakup at the moment myself and I never actually got to tell this person how much I love it anyway um yeah so the beast dying I felt like crying and screaming and all that I was like, no, no, can't. So, um, yeah, and then the beast trip. Uh, but the most saddest bit was when the object started, um, like, because of the spell not being broken, or they th thought it wouldn't be broken, um, they s all started. Fading away, Cogsley started um, freezing, and he's like, Lumira, I can't, can't speak. And then he's like, It's okay, one of me. Um, and then uh, Lumira was gone, and <laughs> so you've got Lumira, Cogsley. And then you've got Mrs. Potts looking for Chip, and I was like, oh gosh, where is he? 
so I just felt really sorry for her. And then when the spell was broken, it was a relief. Um, it was a relief for me because I just feel so connected to these characters now. Um, yes. Um, so when, sorry, I'm getting off track here. So when the spell was broken, um, everybody turned back into their human counterpart, counterpart, um, and, uh, because the Entrantress, uh, um, put a spell on the castle and everyone who lived there, um, the villagers didn't remember them. So when the spell was broken, the villagers said, Oh, I've been here before. And <laughs> that went on for a while. And the battle scene was funny but sad. Um, and based on turned on also. <laughs> which I felt really heartbreaking. But anyway, um, yeah, um, when the objects came back to people, um, my favourite bit was, um, when, um, Lumisi's theory, um, Cogsworth, oh, we beaten time, and then, then it cut, um, and, then they hug and then Cogsworth was a tobacco because he saw his ex, ex he was like tobacco clock, tobacco clock, tobacco clock, no, no, no. And his ex partner was like, um, Cogs, Cogsworth, hi. He's like tobacco clock and he's like, oh, too late. So, um, and the, I shit Lumi and Lumi, I shit those two so much because I ship those two so much. Sorry, that sounds like a sweet. They are so cute. You and McGregor, you and McGregor and, um, Goo Goo Butter was so cute. I love those two. I would ship them together. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, they, they had a little bit of a kiss. Um, Lumia and Cogsworth had a bit of a cuddle. It was, it was so cute. Um, but when Chip came back to normal, it was so funny. Because um, Emma Thompson also played um, Nanny McPhee. It just took me back to Nanny McPhee. But the most poignant memory I have of that film was um, uh, Dan's transformation and the beauty of the lights and everything. But one of the most um, things I remember is the um, kiss, of course. I was like, oh, you lucky thing, Emma. Um, and Dan, they both look absolutely gorgeous. They were in white, white on the end, um, second last thing. And they look absolutely stunning. And then, um, when they kissed, and this white beam, beam of major light just hit them in the right way, and I was like, oh! So, uh, and then, um, they were dancing, like, in the last, um, 
saying, and Bell goes, I wish you could grow up even then started growing as so yeah so let well review sorry if it's a bit topsy to read but I want you guys to go see it go see it while it's still in cinemas okay I'll see you next time bye ah and um I've just posted my um Beauty and the Beast um Magical Night. I named it as a tale as old as time. Go go see how much fun I had. Bye.